hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss another problem but before going forward if you have not liked the video please like it subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when i post a new video so without any further ado let's get started so problem is remove covered intervals see very simple problem uh, like usually when we get these type of problems now uh, intervals involving intervals so we do the same kind of work so uh, let's see what we will do so we'll be given a array of intervals right and where each interval of i means at each index we have a array which has two elements left and right like li ri so this represents the interval remove all the intervals that are covered by another interval in the list so we have to remove all the uh, overlapping intervals like all the intervals which are already covered by another interval we have to remove those intervals so uh, interval this a b is covered by interval c d only if a is greater than c and b is greater than this b is greater than this d uh, sorry less than is less than this d we'll understand with this example so we have to return the number of remaining intervals after removing the over uh, these intervals covered by intervals we have to re return the remaining intervals so let's take this example over here if we see these are different intervals right we have give, we are given 1 4 so if you draw this this will be 1 4 then we have 3 6 so let's say 3 6 right and then we have 2 comma 8 so 2 comma 8 right 2 comma 8 now if you see this interval 3 comma 6 this lies in the 2 comma 8 interval that is like let's say this is a b and this is c d so this interval a b is covered by c d how c a c a is greater than or equal to c this condition a is greater than equal to c and b is less than equal to d that is b is less than equal to d so then this a comma b interval is already covered by is covered by covered by c comma d interval so we will not take this c co uh, a comma b interval in our answer this is already covered by 2 comma 8 so we will take that only we will not take this all right and 1 comma 4 is already uh, is not covered by any other because see 2 comma 8 1 is outside 2 so that is not covered by this one so this will be one interval and this will be another one so two intervals this will get reduced and only two intervals will be left so output will be two all right so this is a problem see it's pretty much clear what we need to do simply see let's see what we have to do exactly so first of all in these type of problems now whenever we have intervals first thing which we have to do is to sort we have to sort the intervals why sorting is required c we need to compare na, for each interval let's say this is a comma b uh, and this is c comma d so we need to compare these start points and the end points these start points and the end points right starting these are the start points a and c and these are the end points b and d so if we do not sort right we will get wrong answers because see this 3 comma 6 is occurring before this 2 comma 8 right just do one thing first we will sort this and then you use the same algorithm without sorting then you will understand why there is a need of sorting the array right that way it will be more clear so let's see first uh, when we will sort it right so see we will sort this so it will be by default sorting according to the first value when we sort this array so after sorting this will be 1 comma 4 then 2 will come uh, 2 comma 8 will come because it's 
sorting according to the starting this value so 1 comma 4 then it will be 2 comma 8 and then it will be 3 comma 6 so this way it will be sorted all right now let's do one thing let's take three variables left right left right and the answer which we will return that is res let's take name it as res and let's take these as minus ones initially all right so see now we will start the traversal and any time suppose the uh, we are currently at this interval so suppose this is our a comma b and this is our c and this is our d right a comma b this c and d so if this interval lies in this interval then we will not consider it right okay so let's do one uh, then let's start the traversal so this is c comma d you can name it at anything so we will start from the beginning only we start from beginning 1 comma 4 that is we will check uh, does this interval lies in this interval or not so for lie uh, this is a comma b right this is a comma b and this is e comma d so for in order for this interval to lie in this interval what should be the condition c less than equal to a and b less than equal to d right this could should be the condition over here a is 1 and uh, c is what minus 1 and d is what minus uh, minus 1 and b is what 4 so this condition is true but this is not true right so this interval does not lie in this interval hence we have to consider this interval so when we are considering this interval we will increase this count by one because now we have one interval and we will update left and right left and right will become 1 comma 4 1 comma 4 1 and 4 right so now let's iterate further so this pointer will now go to the next interval that is here this will be a comma b now see does this interval lie in this interval or not simply this is a right a is greater than c 2 is greater than 1 this is okay but is this okay this this 8 which is b should be less than this d in order to for it to lie in this but see 1 comma 4 is this and 2 comma 8 is this so obviously it did this 2 comma 8 does not lie in this now so we will uh, increase this count because this we have to take interval and we will move further and before moving further make sure to update the left and right because now this is the latest interval right so left will change to 2 and right will change to 8 okay so this is how we do it now let's see for this one so here a comma b now see c is what 2 2 less than equal to 3 so this condition is true okay is this condition true b is what 6 6 is less than equal to d d is what 8 so this is also true means this 2 comma 8 interval here 3 comma 6 lies in this interval hence this is already covered by 2 comma 8 we will not take this interval again all right so we will not increment rest so right we will check how we will check whether this interval does not lie uh, lies between this uh, lies between this condition or not right we can just simply check if this is greater like this b if we ideally what should be there b should be less than d na? b should be less than d but if b is greater than d it means this interval does not lie here right so then just we will not increment res we will uh, not uh, yeah we will not uh, if we will increment res like if it is not lying if it is not lying we will increment res but if it is lying then we will not increment so this is approach right so let's see the code for this i hope you understood so what we will uh, first do is we take we have taken three variables res 
left and right all right initially this was minus 1 minus 1 and this was 0 and we sort we sort this to the array and then we go to each interval and we will check if this is not satisfying the covered condition Co covered condition was this na? this that c should be less than equal to a and b should be less than equal to d right so c this to always be uh, will be greater because we have sorted in ascending order na? so this thing these will be always greater than the previous one this will be always greater than the previous one main main condition is this one all right so and so if b this is your b if b is greater than d that is if b is greater than d then we have to consider that interval so increment rest increment uh, update left and right will be maximum of right and the current one so right will always increment right will always get incremented all right sometimes it might happen uh, that we have an interval let's say here also it's two like this so this might change Dry, uh, just do one thing dry run this algorithm with this test case we have 1 comma 4 2 comma 6 and 2 comma 8 we will better understand how it's working right so every time if the condition is not satisfying we will update res and right will always uh, we will update and return res at the end so if we submit this uh, time complexity for this is c we are so using sorting so time complexity will be uh, n log n where n is number of intervals and space we are not using any extra data structure so we are just using variables so that will be o of 1 space complexity and time complexity and if we submit this so it's working all right so i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt and just let's see if it's taking a lot of time so like there are uh, different questions which are related to this question if you want to practice so if you go to here uh, we have uh, similar problems like merge intervals so all those problems we have so you can try those problems as well so it's taking a lot of time let's submit it So it's getting submitted right so if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see in the next video thank you